How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? I am Splash, and I am here today to grade some fantasy football lineups. Um, this has been a popular request by members of my Dynasty League, um, so all I'm going to be reviewing their teams. 16-team um, Dynasty, so that's tough. Lots of players to go through, so um, this is going to be more of a how I feel about this team. Do I think it's a, a competitive team this year or a competitive team moving forward? Um, there have been a lot of trades, so I don't exactly know all the picks that are everywhere. Um, but 16 teams, um, I'm going to lay out like kind of what I did, what they did. Um, again, some people much more trade happy than I am. I've made one trade. Um, some other, some of my league mates have made three or four, or five, six, ten, maybe. Um, they're getting you know two or three first round picks, a bunch of thirds, a bunch of seconds. So, without further ado, let's begin, and we are going to take a look at Mister uh, Dylan Wade's team. Uh, got Stafford at QB, Javante and AJ Dylan as his RBs, uh, AJ Brown, Deontay Johnson. And Chris Godwin as his receivers, Hunter Henry tight end, Gabe Davis in the flex, Reggie Bullock, kicker, Green Bay defense uh, on the bench, got Baker, uh, Jamal Williams, Sonny Michelle, James Robinson, Joshua Kelly, Jarvis Landry, Josh Reynolds, Kendrick Bourne, Anthony Schwartz, uh, Amari Rogers, um, Ish, Ish Smith, Irv Smith, sorry, uh, John Bates, no one on the IR. Uh, Jake Ferguson, Wisconsin uh, rookie uh, on the taxi squad with Montrell Washington. So he has – doesn't look like he's made any trades, or if he has, he's gotten his fix back. So overall, um, yeah, let's start. Um, I think this team will be competitive year one, especially if the two RB by committees go his way with Williams and Dylan. Um, I would say there's going to be weeks that he's – there's going to be an ebb and flow, right? So if it's a Javante game, there's, you know, a 25% chance it's a Javante and Dylan game. So then he's looking good because you have two of the best running backs in the league. But at the same time, you could get a Melvin Gordon and AJ or uh, Aaron Jones game and kind of be screwed. So boomer bust potential there. Um, AJ Brown, wide receiver one in Philly. Deontay Johnson, wide receiver one in Pittsburgh. Chris Godwin is questionable week one, um, might not play. Um, it might not be the target monster he was, um, but when healthy, you have three wide receiver ones in a 16-team dynasty. So respect. He has, he has a quarterback that's going to score a lot of points. Hunter, Hunter Henry, uh, solid value as a you know touchdown scorer. Um, Gabe Davis, you know breakout candidate in the slot. Bullock. You know, he's fine. Tennessee has had some weird luck with kickers, so I will admit that. Green Bay, very good defense. Um, backup scene, you got Baker, uh, Jamal Williams, Sony Michelle. Um, so the trio of Williams, Michelle, Robinson, um, you might get some RB1 upside potentially there. Miami is a bit of a mess. Edmonds is lead back there. Uh, Jamal Williams is the clear number two in Detroit. And James Robinson is kind of just there right for right now so to me um the running backs can be very good to me he has three uh like rb one and a halfs with uh javante aj Dillon, and james robinson three guys that are talented enough to be rb ones but their team also has a guy they want to use a lot so boom bust potential is pretty heavy there uh landry you know wide receiver two wide receiver three new orleans josh reynolds and eh, depth in detroit kendrick bourne Wide receiver two, three in uh, New England. Schwartz, depth in uh, Cleveland. Rogers, depth in Green Bay. Irv Smith, uh, some potential there to beat out Hunter Henry for that number one spot on uh, Dylan's team. John Bates, and then the Ferguson, Montreal, Washington. Good dart throws. Um, you know, Ferguson could be the heir to Dalton Schultz. Montreal, Washington has shined a lot in camp, so could fill in one of the top three or four receiver roles in Denver. So overall, I think... Uh, Dylan has a very talented team of the RBs can be a little week to week dependent, but really good wide receivers, good quarterback, productive tight end. Um, and I, I'm going to give him like a B plus. I think he will be competitive this year and competitive in the long run with a guy like Javante Williams, AJ Dylan, that, um, if Gordon or AJ or Aaron Jones leaves, or if one of them leaves, you're going to have an RB one, like top 10 caliber pick in a fantasy draft. So, um, I think this is a, a good draft, good start, and 
give him a B plus. I think he's going to be very competitive year over year. All right, uh, let's look at my team, <laughs> Mister Splashman nineteen. All right, we got Joe Burrow, uh, Kenny Gainwell, Rashad Penny. I did make a trade. I'll explain the trade momentarily. Uh, C.D. Lamb, Jalen Waddell, Garrett Wilson, Cole Komet, Sky Moore, Robbie Gould, Carolina defense. Carson Strong, Pierre Strong, Tyler Algier, Jamison Crowder, James Prochet, Tyler Vons, Khalil Shakir, Kyle Phillips, Bayless Jones, uh, Kendrick Pryor, uh, Mo Ali Cox, Kate Otten, uh, Gus Bus on the pup list. And then my taxi squad is Calvin Austin, Sam Howell, and Chig Okonkwo. So one thing I want to note, I did make a trade. So five of my bench players were just free agent pickups, Otten, Ali Cox, Prior, Fonz, and Carson Strong. So all of those were, you know, pure. They, they went undrafted. I grabbed them because I have uh, Gus Bus on the, the IR, three taxi squad players, and I traded a pick away. Um, so I did get three picks in return. So I have an, an extra first next year, two extra seconds next year. Um, so I'm rocking and, and rocking and or rolling here. Uh, with three extra picks. So I traded uh, Chase Edmonds and James Cook. So I get um, three top 32 picks in next year's draft. Um, I'll take it plus the two picks that I have. So I'll have five picks in the next 32 next year. So something there uh, might, might try to package a couple and move up into the first round, another first round pick. Uh, but either way, um, I, I don't love my running backs. There's some potential there. Gainwell and Penny are both in committees. Uh, Penny is probably the lead back to start. Gainwell is probably the two, maybe even the three to start. Um, so that's a little worrisome. But, you know, one of the most productive quarterbacks in the league with Burrow. Wide receiver one, Lamb. A wide receiver two in Waddle, but it's going to be heavily productive, catching a lot of passes. Garrett Wilson is wide receiver one potential in New York, so that's more of a long-term play. Cole Komet, placeholder, tight end. Um, Sky Moore is falling down the depth chart right now, so that's not a great uh, flex option. Gould, Panthers defense, that's perfectly fine. Panthers defense week one against Jacoby Brissett, by the way. That's why I picked him up. Uh, Carson Strong not going to contribute this year. Pierre Strong, not for right now. Algier, potentially by the end of the year, will. Um, Jamison Crowder looks like the wide receiver four in Buffalo. Prochet could be the wide receiver two in Baltimore. Tyler Vons, I don't know if he's going to make the roster. Khalil Shakir, a long-term play. Kyle Phillips should be the starting slot receiver. I don't think they will start him, but long-term play. Bayless Jones, long-term play. Prior, dart throw. Dart throw. Um, Mo Alley Cox, just some insurance for um, Komet. Kate Otten, long-term dart throw. Uh, Gus Bus, not healthy right now, but can be a productive RB2 flex type when healthy. Um, Calvin Austin, not going to contribute a whole lot this year. Sam Howell, same thing. Chiego, Conquo. I might try to flip some of these um, at some point. But, you know, I, I think I have a team that can compete if the running backs fall the right way. And that's going to be the tough thing with a 16-team dynasty is that, you know, in theory, everybody gets two starting running backs, right? But not every team's starting running back is created equal. You know, for every team that has a Derrick Henry, there's a team that has, you know, a three or four running back by committee. Look at Tampa, look at, uh, not Tampa, look at Kansas City, look at Buffalo. So that's one reason I did get rid of James Cook because the other's upside there, but he's also in a pass heavy offense with two other running backs. So I didn't love that. Um, I think I'll be middle middle of the pack. I've set myself up pretty well for next year if I do struggle this year. But, you know, quarterback, receivers are going to have some good weeks. I uh, don't love the running backs. The, the running backs will be week-to-week -week dependent. Uh, Cole Komet, I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, so, I don't know, like a C, C+, plus, something like that. Uh, we got Pooping Tooting. A great name, Kyler, Jonathan Taylor, Antonio Gibson, Keenan Allen, uh, Jamison Williams, George Pickens, the double rookies, uh, Darren Waller, Tony Pollard, Young Way Koo, Saints defense, Brady, what? Uh, 
Daryl Williams. No, that's Damian Williams. Damian Williams, uh, Corey Clement, yikes. Miles Gaskin, Alexander Madison, Cole Beasley, yikes. Olamide Zacchaeus, Juwan Jennings, uh, Nick Westbrook Akine, solid pickup, Evan Ingram, and Isaiah Likely. I might be in the, I might try to trade for Isaiah Likely. He does not have a first round pick next year, and he only has, has one second. I wonder what he would trade for Likely. Um, likely, probably not much. <laughs> ha. Um, so let's see. Start, stud quarterback, a stud running back, a stud receiver. So he he opted in at stud tight end. So he's opted for the four studs to be spread out rather than, you know, two good wide receivers or two good running backs. Um, Antonio Gibson has lost a lot of stock since we drafted. So, you know, three weeks ago, that would have been one of the best running back pairs, I think. But um, you, you are moving in the wrong direction with Gibson right now. Uh, Allen is good, reliable. This is PPR format. Kyler's going to be great. Uh, Jameson Jam, uh Yeah, Jameson Williams. I don't think he plays week one. Uh, actually, he's on the pup list, so he won't play week one, won't play the first month of the season, so he's going to have to find a replacement there, um, which to me is a little worrisome. Um, so, I mean, he would have to play a – like a Zacchaeus or Juwan Jennings or at probably Nick Westbrook Akine that first those first couple of weeks and you know you're really depreciating the value of that pick. You need George Pickens to be the wide receiver too immediately. So that is a bit of a risk there. Uh, Waller should be perfectly fine. Pollard should be perfectly fine. Um, good kicker, good defense. Um, so yeah, I think he will be potentially a I would say like middle of the pack like eighth place, ninth place sort of deal, um, potential. Uh, Jonathan Taylor will win some weeks. Kyler will win some weeks. They're going to be, he's going to be tough to beat, uh, but there could be some implosions. Like if, I don't know, the Colts get in the wrong game script or Kyler throws a pick or two or doesn't run much. Um, I, I don't think the rest of the lineup can carry, but you, when you do have two fantasy superstars like a Murray and a Jonathan Taylor, you're going to have success. So I think, uh, Mr. Pooping Tooting um, is going to have a pretty solid year, um, and he might regret he might regret trading that first round pick. All right, uh, let's move on to wrap up the uh, Division A, Division One. Sorry, uh, we got Eli A S M A R, uh, Trey Lance, Trey Area, McCaffrey, Ramondre Stevenson, T Higgins, DJ Moore, Rashad Bateman. I have to trade for him. Uh, Brevin Jordan, Elijah Moore, Brandon McManus, Rams defense, Tua Tungavailoa, Mike Davis, Dontrell Hilliard, uh, Dearness Johnson, Rashad White, Odell Beckham, who's a free agent, Will Fuller, who's a free agent, Corey Davis, Jalen Guyton, Marcus Calloway, Tylen Wallace, double dipping with the Ravens receivers, D. Eskridge, uh, Kylan Hill on the pup list, uh, Trey McBride, uh, Abram Smith, and Ty Chandler. So I do like the Smith and Ch Chandler dart throws. McBride will eventually be the starter in Arizona as well. Hill's cool. Um, I like the the idea here. You take two dart throws with Beckham and Fuller. They're currently not on rosters. Um, and one's coming off a torn ACL. But uh, maybe you get something there. Dearness Johnson has a very nice um, Nick, Nick Chubb handcuff. Um, could be a valuable piece for the Nick Chubb owner that we will get to a little bit in a little bit. Mike Davis will be very valuable early on when J.K. Dobbins is working back. So um, maybe early on you go with a McCaffrey and Davis backfield. Um, I, I don't necessarily love the Bre Brevin Jordan as a starting tight end. I think he's a fine tight end in general, but for a fantasy starting tight end. Eh. Trey Lance was very efficient in the games that he played last season. So I will give him that. He has only played a handful of games um, as a starter, but is fantasy productive. McCaffrey, when he plays, is the best player in fantasy. Ramondre Stevenson could be the RB1 by the end of the season. So you could get two quality RB1s into run heavy offenses, or McCaffrey is a McCaffrey heavy offense. Stevenson in a run heavy offense. T Higgins is going to produce like a wide receiver one. DJ Moore is going to, is a wide receiver one. Uh, Rashad Bateman is a wide receiver one. So good pickups there. Um, if Lance hits, I think this is an A minus and I think this is a playoff caliber team. So good stuff, Mr. Eli. So if I had to rank the four, it'd probably go Eli, Dylan, uh, 
Hmm. I don't know. Eli, Dylan. I think Eli's one. Dylan, two. And then Mr. Pooping, Tooting, and I, like, tied for third. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's fair. All right, let's go to Division 2. I'm going to get the obligatory lemonade break. Also, you can see the, the chat. Uh, uh, Mr. MV4Sport says, hi, YouTube. My team's the best. Uh, we will get to that. What's my ranking? Mike would be 16. You're right. I might have to make him 16. All right. We got Mr. Jackson Durney. Uh, Dak Prescoot, dude. Okay. Uh, DeAndre Swift. Uh, Leonard Fournette, also known as Fossilizing. Devontae Adams. Tyler Lockett. 50 points to two points. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give this an A plus with the nicknames. You got Duve, uh, TJ Hawkinson, King Henry, uh, also fossilizing. I'm confused. Uh, Cowboys defense, <laughs> Davis Mills, four foot eight, Boston Scott uh, should start after injuries. Jeff Wilson, good for a random 12 reception game. I am Hines. Week one, Watkins. I like that. Sammy Watkins, probably on the IR. Sterling Shepard, Darius Slayton, reliable hands. Jalen Rager, David Bell, Romeo Dubs, uh, Michael Woods. That's a deep cut. Hayden Hurst, Jeremy Ruckert. So um, A plus with the names. Um, but overall, I think Dak can be very productive. RB1, RB1, wide receiver one. Lockett is somewhere between a wide receiver one and a wide receiver two for Seattle with DK Metcalf, but you have Geno Smith and Drew Lockett at quarterback, so I don't necessarily love that. DuVernay is wide receiver two, wide receiver three type, very inconsistent scoring. So your top four, great. Lockett will be all over the place. DuVernay will also be all over the place. Hawkinson will be productive. Derek Henry, how did you get three RB1s and a good kicker? Okay. Dallas's defense is very dependent on turnovers. So I would be a little scary. It would be scary to have them early, but potential there. Davis Mills is Davis Mills. Uh, Boston Scott could be the RB2 in Philly. Yes, I am the Kenny Gainwell owner. I want to stab myself. Uh, Jeff Wilson, I am Hines. Potential there. Hines, PPR format could be big. Jeff Wilson um, doesn't have standalone value, but if he ends up being the starter, sure. Sammy Watkins could be the wide receiver one in Green Bay. Shepard gets a lot of targets. Slayton, more of a deep threat. Um, Jalen Rager, I guess he's worth the dart throw. David Bell, I like as an option. Should be the wide receiver three in Cleveland, get a lot of snaps. Romeo Dubs, same thing, get a lot of snaps at some point. Michael Woods, potential there. I would throw him on the taxi squad. Hayden Hurst can be a solid tight end too. So I think this is one of the best teams so far. You have three RB1 players, like three of the top, I don't know, 30 to 35 picks in a draft. Uh, he has them. So I think this is an excellent draft. Um, I would give it an A, and I think he's a, a playoff lock. All right, we got Noah SD11, Jalen Hurts, Michael Carter, Eno Benjamin, Jamar Chase, Michael Pittman, Isaiah McKenzie, Dallas Goddard, me, score Easyman, Harrison Butker, Steelers defense, famous Jameis, Kenneth Walker, Jalen Warren. He sniped me for Jalen Warren. Noah Brown. KJ Hamler, uh, Van Jefferson, Quez Watkins, uh, Ty Johnson, KJ Osborne, Johnny Smith, Foster Moreau, Arizona defense. He did draft two defenses. Uh, Michael Gallup on the pop list. Zamir White, um, Brian Robinson, Isaiah Pacheco um, on the taxi squad. So I like the, these three running backs. Would not want to put them on the taxi squad because I think they could be valuable this season, but maybe throw a... Actually, I don't think he has any other options. to. That. I would throw Jalen Warren practice squad for sure, or the taxi squad, sorry. Um, so Hurts will have his moments in fantasy, will probably be a top 10 fantasy quarterback. Carter looks like the starter right now. Don't know how long that holds. Benjamin, not a starting caliber running back. So, uh, like, uh, I don't love the running backs there. Chase is Jamar Chase. Pittman's a wide receiver one. McKenzie's a wide receiver three in a pass-heavy offense. Uh, Dallas Goddard's a top six tight end. Me score easy man. It's going to be all over the place. Butker, good. Steelers defense, good when they're not playing the Bengals. So I would say potential playoff team, not a guarantee by any means. Uh, probably like a B, B minus range. A solid team. Um, fix that RB2 slot, though. <laughs> uh, could go Kenneth Walker. Um, you know, to me, Kenneth Walker 
should probably start over Eno Benjamin for this team or even Brian Robinson. So I would, I would move around the taxi squad. So there's Noah. All right, we got Panthers squad. Definitely a big Florida Panthers fan for sure. Uh, Kirk Cousins, Alvin Kamara, Miles Sanders, got Debo, AJ Green, Chase Claypool, George Kittle, Devin Singletary, Tyler Bass, Dolphins defense, Zach Wilson, Jarek McKinnon, Samaj P. Ryan, uh, Ronald Jones, uh, Zach Moss, Keyshawn Vaughn, DeAndre Hopkins, Curtis Samuel, Russell Gage, Nico Collins, Trey Burks, Traylon Burks, um, Tyler Higby, and the Vikings defense. He has picked up two extra first round or an and wait, what? Okay, so an extra first next year, and he replaced his first with Poswall's first. Okay, sure. Cousins, solid quarterback one option. Kamara is gonna be one of the best fantasy players in the league, assuming he's on the field. Sanders can be shaky, didn't score a touchdown last year, so he probably will score some this year. Debo Samuel is freaking Debo Samuel. AJ Green, don't love it. Claypool, don't love it. So to me, there's three or two good piece uh, cousins and Kamara Debo. So I don't necessarily love this group. Kittle. Yep. Singletary. Uh, I don't know about it. Uh, Tyler Bass, Dolphins defense. It should be okay. Uh, Zach Wilson, potential Jarek McKinnon. So he drafted two Buffalo running backs and two chiefs running backs. There's a solid argument. He drafted the wrong ones. So I think that has to knock him down. He does have De, uh, DeAndre Hopkins for the second half. So you can just replace AJ Green with DeAndre Hopkins at a certain point. And then you'll have two good wide receivers and whatever you get out of wide receiver three, Claypool. Um, I would lean towards missing the playoffs here. Um, Like just, I think some solid play. Maybe you get a Kamara, a big week from Kamara or a big week from Debo but <clears throat> I don't think the depth here is great. I got a Walker 21. I'm going to actually say hi to YouTube fellas. All right. A Walker 21. Uh, I got Jay breezy, Josh Allen, Zeke Elliott, Clyde Edwards, Alaire, the right, potentially the right running back to own Stefan Diggs. Portland Sutton, Adam Thielen, Albert Wegbunam, uh, Christian Kirk. I love this pick. Darn it. I can't. I'm not going to be able to make any sneaky trades because anyone with half a brain is going to watch this video and just skip to their team. And <laughs> I hate Christian Kirk. He should be dropped in all formats. <laughs> uh, Christian Kirk is a wonderful pick. Um, Will Lutz, Ravens defense. That should work. Um uh, Matt Ryan, Kenny Pickett, DJ Dallas, Trey Sermon, Tyler Beatty, might have to trade for Beatty, uh, Devontae Parker, Tyler Boyd, um, Danny Gray, Tyler Conklin, Adam Trotman. I like the Conklin pick, sneaky. Um, yeah, okay. Um, let's check it out. So we got A, Walker, 21, Allen, QB1, duh. Zeke is a bit shaky to me. Edwards Hilaire is a bit shaky to me. Diggs, slam dunk. Sutton, slam dunk. Thielen, touchdown dependent. Ukwegbunam, I don't like that. Um, Christian Kirk. <sighs> Christian Kirk's a banger. Um, if you throw Kirk in instead of Thielen, I think you have three wide receiver ones, which is great. Uh, you have a QB1, uh, RB1.5, RB2. Um, Ukwegbunam is fine, I guess. Lutz and the Ravens defense, good. Matt Ryan could be productive, so maybe you think about trading Matt Ryan because I don't think you're going to start him over Allen. Um, so it might be worthwhile. Also, Pickett projected negative points. Eat that. Um, yeah, maybe Matt Ryan's worth the trade. Um, maybe improve the tight end spot. Um, <clears throat> Kenny Pickett, DJ Dallas, that's fine. Trey Sermon, outside looking in, not great. Tyler Beatty, early season. He's going to get some PPR work potentially. Parker, eh. Boyd and eh. Danny Gray potential Conklin. I like the pick. Um, I like doubling up, tripling up even on tight ends. Um, so yeah, I think this is a very, I would change some things. I would change some te- things. I would say this is, I would say more of a non playoff team than a playoff team. Um, I like the Allen to Diggs stack. So you're going to win some games off that Sutton Kirk. Uh, trade me Kirk and I'll give you a tight end, another tight end. Uh, we should make that happen. Um, yeah. So there we go through division two.
also we got the, we got the boys coming in saying, uh, hey, hola, <laughs> get these rankings or out or I'll whoop you week one. Now nah, that's insane. Not going to lie. I would never talk to you like that, Splash. Okay, MV4 Sports, sure thing. All right, we got Tate Roll coming in. Uh, Herbert Eckler Montgomery, wow. Uh, Judy Cup Woods, uh, Schultz Anderson, Suck Up, Philly Defense, Goff, Matt Corral, Matt Breida, Philip Lindsay, uh, Benny Snell, Chuba Hubbard, Khalil Herbert, uh, Mark Ingram, Byron Pringle, Henry Ruggs, Robert Tunyon. Is that it? That is it. He has traded a lot of his picks, so he is going all in for this year. Um, Herbert Eckler, yeah, banger. Um, David Montgomery, but he did get Herbert though. Yes. So he has he has the Chicago backfield. Okay, good. Good on you. Um Judy. I like Sutton a little bit more this year. Cup is a scooper cup. Robert Woods. Yeah, solid. He's a wide receiver one for Tennessee. Schultz tied in one. Yep. Robbie Anderson would not have drafted Robbie Anderson. Suck up in Eagles defense, perfectly fine. Um Goff. Maybe there's something there. Corral is out for the season. I would move him to the taxi squad or um, injured reserve, open up a roster slot. Matt Breida, eh. Philip Lindsay, eh. Benny Snell, eh. Cuba Hubbard. I, I don't. I don't like Hubbard. I, I these these two, those four picks aren't doing anything for me. Um, like I guess Snell is technically like the number two back, but I might. I would prefer to have Jalen Warren at this point. Brita, I guess, is technically the number two back, but again, I wouldn't, I don't want to have the second asset in that backfield because I, I don't think, like Hubbard, I don't think there's value in value in that because you're just going to replace Hubbard with, or you're, you would re- replace McCaffrey with a rotation of running backs, not just one of them. Herbert, on the other hand, is the true handcuff there, like an Alexander Madison in Minnesota. Mark Ingram might get some goal line work. Byron Pringle, potential there. Henry Ruggs, that's a total dart throw. Um, Robert Tunyon could get some touchdown value. Um, yeah, he went all in this year, and I think there's some holes in the roster. So you might, you could get screwed, Mr. Tate Roll. Um, <clears throat> I think there's a couple holes. I don't, I don't love. Robert Woods is a wide receiver three here. I don't love Anderson in the slot. So I would I would move it around a little bit. I would say closer to not playoff team than a playoff team. Um, but Herbert Eckler, they're going to win some games. Cup as well. All right, baby pancakes coming in. Got Lawrence, who I'm slowly coming around on this year. Dobbins, not going to be great early on. Scored Errol Patterson, Justin Jefferson, Mike Evans, Darnell Mooney, uh, Mark Andrews. Uh, Drake London, Jake Elliott, Denver defense, Drew Brees. Don't know about that one. Mitch, Daniel Jones. Okay, three starting quarterbacks. Le'Veon Bell, don't know about that one. Todd Gurley, definitely don't know about that one. Marlon Mack, whatever. Daryl Henderson, Damian Pierce. (sighs) With all due respect, because I'm going to send the video to these guys. With all due respect, how do you draft Drew Brees, Todd Gurley, and then you also get Damian Pierce? Oh, come on. Oh, I hate football. Okay, Lavishka Chenault, don't love that pick. Uh, Brian Edwards, Mike Kosicki, Pat's defense, and Keel Harry is on injured reserve, okay? Uh, Dolchich, Woods, Bellinger. Sm- Actually, that's smart, I'd say, because one of these guys will probably work, but they're not going to work right now, so just taxi squat them. Great strategy there. So it baffles me that you have great strategy with Pierce, but then... Dolch- or the, and the Dolchich Woods Bellinger stuff, but then you draft Drew Brees. Okay. Um, I don't particularly love uh, Dobbins and Patterson right now. It could grow on me, but I also have Tyler Algier, and I think Algier is going to eat into some of Patterson's rushing touches. Um, and Dobbins, I don't think will be, I don't think will be the total RB one. He, he's going to be productive, but he's not going to get as many touches as you want from an RB one. Uh, Jefferson, I mean, you have three wide receiver ones and a high upside quarterback. So. You have the number one target in four four offenses and the number two target in another offense. Like, that's a W there. Don't love the running backs. Questionable bench decisions. But overall, I would probably, probably lean closer to playoffs than not, especially if you 
um, make some trades. Like if you trade me, uh, Damian Pierce, definitely making the playoffs. All right, good, good draft for baby pancakes. We've got S. Johnson, 1763, Fields, Brees Hall, who he calls franchise, ETN, Ayukin, MVS, Kenny Galladay, Noah Fant, DPJ, Rod Wave, Colts defense, Innocent, uh, Rexford, Jarrett Patterson, uh, Chris Evans, missed the chance to make a Chris Evans pun, <laughs> Stone Hands, Hollywood Higgins, Travis Fulgham, Wilkerson, can't uh, did he catch a touchdown in the preseason? Terrace Marshall, uh, Josh Palmer, Gerald Everett, da right, uh, defense. Bro, let me put him on IR. James Washington, okay. Hassan Haskins, I like that. Isaiah Spiller, I like that too. Snoop Connor, Snoop Dog, Snoop Doggy Dog. Wow, so he has four first round picks next year. Okay, that that's something. Um, all right, let's jump back here. Fields, boomer bust for sure. Hall does not look like the starter right now, but will be at some point. ETN will be – he needs to pop early so he can fend off James Washington. So potential here with these three, but not, not a guarantee for sh anything. Um, questionable wide receivers with Ayuk, MVS, and Galladay. Um, I don't think Galladay is going to be productive. Even in a 16-team league, I don't know if he's necessarily a worthwhile player. MVS, ugh. Ayuk is worth starting, but at what cost? Donovan Peoples-Jones is probably a better start than Galladay or MBS. Um, Noah Fant, I don't love it with the quarterback situation. Hot Rod, Colts defense. Yeah. When Deshaun Watson gets back, you know, you have value there, but you're leaning heavily on fields. Um, I don't particularly love this bench. I, I don't think there's really – Josh Palmer's fine. Everett's okay, but if you're having to, if you get any injuries in that front group, I think you're kind of screwed. So um, I think this might be the worst team, and I think there's a reason he's going with a bunch of uh, a bunch of fourth round picks. So uh, with all due respect, and I went to the wrong league. Yes, I'm in a 32 man league. In case you were wondering, um, so yeah, I, I I don't love that. The team. Let me see if I can find S. Johnson. Yeah, he's only projected to score 107 points. That should be the fewest of everybody. Yeah, like one, one thir I'm even at 118, uh, 140, 133, 139, 142, 119. So, yeah, I, I don't think this is a great team for this year, but there is some potential moving forward. Um, we got APRO23. He is the um, commish. Derek Carr, Nick Chubb, Dalvin Cook, Juju Smith-Schuster, Hunter Renfro, Wandale Robinson, Kyle Pitts, Jahan Dodson, Chris Boswell, Browns defense, Marcus Mariota, Jacoby Brissett, Jordan Love, Amir Abdullah, J.D. McKissick, Kareem Hunt. Uh, you can tell he's a Browns fan. Uh, Jacoby Myers, Alec Pierce, really good pick. Cameron Brait, Logan Thomas, Dylan Parham, Chiefs defense, John Mechie, Tyquan Thornton. Hope Mechie has the speediest of speedy recoveries. Uh, Des Ritter, Keontae Ingram, and Katie York. Interesting pick with a kicker on the taxi squad. Um, yeah, so I think Carr is a perfectly fine quarterback. Chubb is better in real life than in fantasy because Kareem Hunt exists. Um, but doesn't he have Kareem Hunt? Yeah. Mm, I don't know if you really want to play them together. Dalvin Cook, slam dunk RB1. So I, I like this trio there. Juju. Might be the wide receiver one. Renfro is a wide receiver two, potentially target three with Waller. Wondell Robinson is uh, ascending. Kyle Pitts is the target one. Jahan Dotson is ascending as well. Wide receiver two. Boswell's good. Browns defense week to week. Um, you're gonna have two starting quarterbacks plus Derek Carr. So maybe you maybe one gets off to a hot start, you flip them for a pick. Uh Jordan Love is pure potential. Amir Abdullah is I don't know at this point. McKissick, you know, you have some fine running backs here. Maybe look for a trade. Ooh, if Kareem Hunt gets traded, bump him up a level. Uh, Jacoby Myers, Alec Pierce. I really like Pierce here. Um, Brait, eh, Logan Thomas needs to return fully from injury, and I'll be confident in him. Parham, touchdown threat. Um, yeah, so I think this team is pretty good. Uh, I, would, I would go for an upgrade at wide receiver, but – 
Um, Carr is going to get you 18, 20 points a week. Chubb is going to be good. Dalvin Cook is going to be good. You're going to get, you know, 50 points or so from that top three every week. And, you know, as long as you get something from the bottom half, you're going to be scoring 100, 115 points every week. So um, Kyle Pitts as well. Um, I think this is a potential playoff team for sure. All right, head into Division 4. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Ring a ding ding that Le'Veon Bell, that notification bell. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, we got Jason V715. Aaron Rodgers, Najee Harris, Damian Harris. Got the Harris twins. They're not twins. Uh, Terry McLaurin, Hollywood Brown, Brandon Cooks, Travis Kelsey, Zach Ertz, um, Evan McPherson, Niners defense, Mac Jones, Melvin Gordon. Uh, that is Daryl. Williams, I believe. Uh, Kevin Harris, don't love that pick. Tristan Ebner, potential. Chris Conley, Cedric Wilson, I like that pick. Uh, Diami Brown, <clears throat> Bo Melton, Randall Cobb, Matt Prater, Bills defense. Tim Patrick, speedy recovery. Um, so Mr. Jason, we got quarterback one, RB one, uh, Harris, I don't love Harris's stranglehold on the Patriots RB1 role. Um, McLaurin, wide receiver one. Cooks, wide receiver one. Kelsey, option one. Um, you get two, likely the top two targets in the Arizona offense, at least while Hopkins is out, and then you'll have the two and three behind him. Um, so I think that's fine. I think this is a very good roster. Uh, this, to me, if you had this in like a 10-man league, I think would be pretty good. Um Mac potential there. Melvin Gordon can plug and play. Um, Williams, Harris, Ebner, eh, Conley, eh. Uh, Wilson. I think there's value there. Brown, mm, Melton, maybe someday. Uh, Cobb, sure. Um, Tim Patrick, speedy recovery. So I think this is a very good team. One of the best teams. Uh, definitely a playoff contender. I've uh, got MV4 Sports. Your team sucks. Uh, got Russ, Joe Mixon, James Conner, Tyreek Hill. <laughs> I like the nicknames here. Amari Cooper, Mike Williams, uh, Dawson Knox, uh, Josh Jacobs, Dan Carlson, Titans defense, Geno Smith, Jimmy Garoppolo, <laughs> Dante Foreman. I love that's funny. Uh, Zay Jones. Ooh, I like it. Bro, you're giving me ideas. I might have to rank your team and do it in like shorts um, so I can get the uh, like – Fantasy football names, Gambling Addict, Calvin Ridley, Rondell Moore, Jalen Tolbert, uh, Julio, uh, CJ Uzoma, Austin Hooper, Bucks defense, Mason Crosby's on the pup list. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Jerome Ford, Chris Olave. I like that. Olave Garden. Uh, Ty Davis Price, Tyrion Davis Price. Um, okay. So let's see. QB1, RB1, RB1, wide receiver one, wide receiver one, wide receiver one and a half with, with Keenan. Uh, Knox is a little touchdown dependent for me. I don't love Jacobs this year. I would maybe look to sell high with Jacobs. Maybe, I don't know, 25 points week one, try to trade him. Um, flip him for something more valuable. Geno Smith is starting quarterback. Jimmy is another negative uh, point per game guy. Dante Foreman, don't see the value with Carolina backs behind McCaffrey. Zay Jones, wide receiver two. DJ Chark, wide receiver two. Calvin Ridley is a long-term option. Rondale Moore, maybe there's something there. Jalen Tolbert early in the season, valuable. Um, Julio Jones, and CJ Uzoma. Uh, I, I've heard Flacco and Zach Wilson like Conklin more for what that's worth. Austin Hooper, I think he will have a good year, so he might be worth a play. And Maybe you flip Dawson Knox. Maybe he gets two touchdowns at the opener. You flip him, you flip Josh Jacobs, and you get – you know, something out of that. You turn those two pieces into a, <clears throat> a flex player, and then you start Hooper each week or you start Uzoma each week. So some value there. Jerome Ford, like a lot. Hate the situation, like the player. Olave, same thing. I would take him out of the taxi squad, though. Maybe throw in that ah, Tolbert stuff because you want to use Tolbert. Okay, yeah, I don't know who else you're putting in the taxi squad there because I, I, I think Olave has some value this year. Ford, yeah, I get it. Davis Price. San Francisco, so maybe not, but I get it. So yeah, this is this is a good team. Um, can be even better if you take my advice and flip Knox and Jacobs for something. Um, who knows? Yeah, I think this is a potential playoff team for sure. 
All right, we got DX Loquiz. We got Lam Lam, Elijah Mitchell, Barkley, <laughs> Among Us, Among Us, uh, St. Brown, that's funny, DK Metcalf, Devontae Smith, Muth, uh, Lizard Man, Folker, <laughs> Bengals defense, uh, Wentz, Locke, Travis Homer, Gary Brightwell, Equinemius St. Brown. So both St. Browns are here. Uh, Deontay Hardy, a.k.a. Uh, Deontay Harris. Denzel Mims, who is, uh, wants to be out of Jets land. Uh, Eric Ezekonoma, solid pick. <laughs> pick a position already. Uh, Taysom Hill, Tommy Tremble, um, Chargers defense. Uh, Justin Ross on IR. Um, Corbin, Tur I've never heard of Corbin in my life. Charlie Kolar, Keontae. Cavante, I think it's Cavante. Cavante Turpin, who had two touchdowns in the preseason game. So that's cool. Um, all right. I mean, Lamar speaks for himself. Barkley, when healthy, is awesome. You have a wide receiver one potential in St. Brown, wide receiver one potential in DK, wide receiver two, Devontae. Touchdown, Monster and Pat. I don't I don't want any part of Alan Lazard. Folk, good kicker. Bengals defense should be fine. Um one and a half starting quarterbacks here. Uh, Travis Homer, eh. I, 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 I don't see great depth here. Um, yeah, I don't see great depth, but this is a very good starting lineup. So I think this is a potential playoff team, like a at 500, above 500 team. Um, if you get MVP Lamar, anything's possible. All right, and our final team, we are 41 minutes into this. We got Poswall, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Jones, Cam Akers, Allen Robinson, Michael Thomas, Kadarius Shoney, David Njoku, Chase Edmonds, Matt Gay, Commander's Defense, Tannehill, uh, Mostert, Craig Reynolds, my guy, uh, James Cook, yes, he's the guy I made a trade with, Kyron Williams, uh, Marvin Jones, Braxton Berrios, should just call him Honey Not Berrios, Paris Campbell, Tutu Atwell, uh, Christian Watson, Harrison Bryant, Kyle Rudolph, um, Malik Willis, Jalen Naylor, and Lawrence McClutchin. That's right. Um, is it Lawrence? I don't think it's actually Lawrence. Larry? I don't know. Either way. Um, yeah, so Mahomes, stud. Um, Aaron Jones, like I said with A.J. Dillon, that he is a wide receiver one, but he happens to play with another wide receiver one, or uh, running back one, but he happens to play with another running back one. So inconsistent scoring potential there. Cam Akers, I don't love it this year. Allen Robinson, he's a wide receiver too. Michael Thomas needs to be healthy. Kadarius Tony, eh, Daniel Jones, Tyrod Taylor, eh. David Njoku will be the focal a focal point of the Browns offense. So some ups, upgrade there. Chase Edmonds, hey, I wonder who just had Chase Edmonds. Matt Gay, Commander's defense, that's fine. Uh, Tannehill, so you have a, a second starter. Mostert, eh, Craig Reynolds. I like him, but I don't think he's going to get much playing time. Jared Cook might be the back to own in Buffalo, but I got a first-round pick back for him. Um, Kyron Williams, mm, Marvin Jones, mm, Berrios, maybe some value there. Paris Campbell looks like the wide receiver three now. 2-2 two -two Atwell, disaster. Christian Watson, maybe next year. Harrison Bryant, at least he doubled up on Brown's tight ends. Uh, Rudolph. I don't love the Tampa tight ends this year. I did get Kate Otten for future use, but um, Willis, I like for the future. Naylor, potential. McCutcheon, yeah. But he has four draft picks left. So the Stepien rule, it's not apply to him. So, yeah, going all in. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't love the receivers. The running backs, I think you'll get two good ones, but that flex spot could be iffy. Mahomes is going to be Mahomes. Tight end is fine. So um, I think like solid uh, – there's some potential here. I think it'll be a solid team, like maybe the ninth best team. I don't know how many teams make the playoffs, but maybe a borderline playoff team, like uh, loses the last week before the playoffs. So overall, I think um, – I think everyone had at least an idea of what they're doing. Um, even the teams that aren't great this year have gotten some picks for next year, like my team, for example. Um, but uh, obviously, I'm going to set my lineup each week and gun for it each week. Um, but I do have some ammo moving forward, and I'd like to get some more ammo moving forward. So 
I'm going to send this into the group. Hopefully you guys want to make a trade. So yeah, I think that'll wrap us up for this episode. Um, I'm going to do another one in the very, 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 very near future. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring a ding ding that Le'Veon bell, that notification bell so you can get notified when I go live or when I do content like this. So with that said, peace out and I'll see you guys soon.